some of my active followers on twitter and subscribers on youtube have been sending me dms asking if it is legal to use pen names on amazon kdp well today i want to answer the question in this video we'll be looking at all you need to know about pen names benefits of using pen names on amazon kdp and how to get the best pen names to use for publishing according to wikipedia a pen name also called a nom de plume or a literary double is a pseudonym or in some cases a variant form of a real name adopted by an author and printed on the title page or by line of his works in place of their real name as you can see the major keyword here is in place of their real name this shows that a pen name is used by an author or a publisher to replace their name on their book now we took a step further to still ask google if it is legal to use a pen name so we said hey google is pen name a crime and Google said, writing under a pseudonym is perfectly permissible and surprisingly common. However, if you're looking to use a pen name for your work, you still need to sign legal documents with your real name. This simply means that pen names are legal to use, but if you want to sign real formal documents, you must use your real name. So your pen names would work just fine for your publishing business. So let's look at some of the benefits of using a pen name. Number one is privacy. Yes, when using a pen name, the reader or whoever is going to be buying the book does not even know who you are. Number two, branding. Yes, it can be a form of branding for you, a name you use in branding all your books in that category or niche three to create a distinct public persona now people will be seeing that book and they'll be saying this book was written by so 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 and so author not knowing that it was written by maybe a nigerian or an african hiding your gender yes you can actually be a man and use a female pen name you can also be a woman and use a male pen name making your race less obvious exactly like the way we publish on amazon KDP, those buying the book in the US, UK, Canada, Australia, Germany, they don't even know that the authors are Nigerians or Africans. So you can use a pen name to hide your race, to make your name more memorable. You can use a foreign name that you like, a name that rings in your head every time, or the name of your preferred actor, okay? To differentiate yourself from another author with a similar name. Yes, if you want to publish a book and you see that another author is already using your name, you can decide to use a pen name to differentiate your books from that author's books to combine the work of two or more people. Two or more people can publish a book and you might not want to use your exact name in that book. You can equally use your pen name to publish that book. However, some names are trademarked and you don't have the right to use such names in your books. Most most of these kind of names are names of public figures and celebrities. So please be very careful when you are using names that relate to the names of celebrities, except it is your real name. Please don't use popular celebrity names because Amazon will see it like you are trying to lure people into buying your book by using those names. There is also a very high possibility that those names are trademarked. Stay away from popular authors' names. If you see an author is already using a name please stay away from such names try to look for less popular names that you can use on your books so on kdp amazon allows you to use up to four different pen names on your books so on one account you can have four different pen names writing about four different things maybe one pen name is for health the second pen name is for low content the third pen name is for fiction and the fourth pen name is maybe for coloring books or puzzle books or anything so you can have up to four pen names on one account so let's take a deep dive into how you can get the best pen names for
for your publishing business. Just visit Google and type fake name generator. Then you search. It will load up and you will see this one that is fake name generator.com. The first one, click on it. And this is the website. All you need to do is to select the gender. Let's say we need a female name. We click on female. Then the name sets. Do you want an American or an Arabic, Australian, Brazilian, Chinese, Dutch name? In this case, we're going to choose American. So the country is United States. You can also change the country to Germany, Greenland, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, anyone. But for this video, we'll be using United States. So you click on generate. For every time you click on generate, this website generates a new name for you. So you have this. Click on generate again. You have Caroline Mitchell. Click on it again. You have Rebecca Robinson. Click on it again. Cheryl Maris. You can also decide to say, okay, I'm looking for a male name. Click on this female. Change it to male. Okay. American. Or let's change it to England this time. Then United Kingdom. Generate. Ethan Davi. Click on it again. You have Logan Rose. Click on it again. Sebastian Dawson. Click on it again. You have Lucas Bowen. So this is how you can generate pen names for Amazon KDP business. You can also use this website to get other details. Let's say you want to fill some kind of information online that you don't really need. You only need the information to pass a particular stage online. You need an address, maybe a US address, UK address, date of birth, um, MasterCard details, height, weight, blood group. You see, you can get everything from this site. For every name you check, you will see all, just scroll down, you will see all other details that you can use to fill any virtual information online. So you've seen that pen names are legit and I've also explained the do's and don'ts of using pen names. Follow these simple steps to get the best pen names for publishing. On Twitter, I promised that once I hit 3,000 followers, I'm going to gift two active followers Publisher Rocket Lifetime Access. Now, I have decided to split it. One person on Twitter and another person on YouTube. I already got the winner for Twitter. Now I want to get the winner for YouTube. So all you need to do is to comment down below Amazon KDP Publishing. Write Amazon KDP Publishing and then I would know you watched this video to the end. This way, I'm going to use a random winner selector to select the winner and then you would get your free lifetime access for publisher rockets. If you've not subscribed to my channel, this is the best time to subscribe. Like this video if you learned something new today, share it on social media, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that YouTube will send you instant notification anytime I post awesome videos like this because I'm here to teach you how to make money online legitimately. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.